Jill, sales secrets from the top 1%, where the world's best sales experts share their secrets to sales success. Four time best selling sales author, you know, selling again home, home, from home economics to Xerox to the product launch to the sales tech to Medtronic consulting, you know, to, to running selling to big companies. And now Jill Conrath, you know, like if you had to go back in time and give yourself one sales secret, if you hired someone, you could only give them one piece of advice, one sales secret, the secret sauce to sales success, what would that be? Be a learner. Be a learner. Be a learner. I mean, be open to learning from everybody around you. It's not about you and, and it's not about studying your own stuff. You know, I mean, if you learn from people, uh, you'll find out what it takes. And if you keep yourself in a learning mode, you will constantly be adjusting to the changing market and you will be ahead of everybody else because you're studying, you know, what difference you can make. You're studying your marketplace and your segment and what's important to your customers. You're studying what's happening in the economy and what difference that would make. You're studying the impact of um, uh, mergers and acquisitions on your customer's technology stack. I mean, every, you know, if you start throwing yourself wow. into the, the learner part and, and you'll become an invaluable asset and you'll be really good at what you do. So to me, the essence of, of this is to, to stay on top of the game. I mean, to not get complacent. I mean, I got complacent once. Boy, don't put all my eggs in one basket, you know? I mean, I said that earlier. You get complacent and, and have just a couple clients and they're, even though they're feeding you well, you can be wiped out in short order. But if you're constantly growing and on, on the edge and trying new things and working with different things, you will be, you will be desirable to your prospects. They'll want to work with you. They'll want to talk with you to see what you think about. They'll want to find out how they can help their business, you know, grow or reduce costs or whatever it is uh, because you bring them ideas. I love the reasoning of, of why you say that. Like, I feel like a lot of salespeople, marketers, entrepreneurs, even myself, it's hard to stay in that state of like always be learning. Uh, it's easy to get complacent. How do you how do you force yourself or how do you stay motivated to always be learning? People sometimes forget the fun of doing things for the first time, you know? And yeah. if you're constantly learning and you try something new and it works, you can go, yes, you know, I mean, that worked. And it's really fun when you do that. And I think we forget the fun of it too because we get so so blasted serious about the work. Yeah. And, it's, and it's like, it's typically also really hard too, like to do something for the first time. Yeah. It's hard. Like really hard. And you fail and you screw up and you yeah. fainted, you know, that one time. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, you fainted, right? Yeah. Like selling for the first time. Wow. Yeah. What are some method like ways to just get started with always learning? Oh, I would focus on learning about the customer <laughs> first if I was starting something new. Really? Like, don't don't buy, like, the sales. If you're in sales, don't buy all the sales books. Like, obsess over the persona and the customer. Yeah. That's the whole context. I mean, these are the people that have the issues that you're supposed to be selling to. I mean, to understand what they're doing and what, what their roles and responsibilities are, what their business objectives are, what their... Um, struggles are and the challenges, you know, the t what trigger events are happening in their company and what, you know, the fact that third quarter earnings were down, what does that mean? And how could that tie into what you were selling? And, you know, I mean, to just focus on the customer the whole time, that's the essence. I mean, people get trained so much on the stuff they sell. Sales strategies and the product. Yeah. Well, versus really the customer. The customer. Yeah. It's all about the customer. No one cares about your sales script for this or that. Like, yeah. How can, who's the customer and how can you help them? I love that. I never would, I thought you would have said like books, like read more books or read more sales, but to always be learning, like first study the customer. The customer, everything's with the customer. It's where it's all at. And when you understand the customer there more, you would know how you can help them. We're creating all these sales funnels for our ad campaigns and our, e like we're doing account-based sales and marketing and combining it all. Like, I don't think they should be separate. I think ABS and ABM should literally be one, like just account-based everything. And um, when you do that, to write the ads, to write the landing pages, to write the case studies, everything's gotta be about the customer. So like, if you don't know the customer, you can't do anything. Yeah. And uh, that's interesting, because I think like a lot of people would think again, like, okay, I'm new to sales, I should go buy a bunch of sales books or whatever, but wherever you're about to work or are working, 
double, triple down on the customer, studying the customer. Um, that's what Trish said too. Trish is like, Jill coached me. She knows the scientific model. Um, yeah, I deconstruct everything and okay. That's amazing. We- but I, I, from personally, like I know a lot of people are going to have a positive impact on this and just me personally, um, I wouldn't be here without the stuff that you do. And like you, you had no idea the impact that you had on me. Like I started a 40 person company wouldn't be here without, you know, reading, selling to big companies and snap awesome. selling. So wow. I'm, I'm just really honored and grateful to have this time and to learn from, from you. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk to you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye.